Welcome back. You guys were, I guess, are still in a dungeon, and you have reconvened back at this sort of altar area. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Successfully uh, captured, to... I guess. Successfully, quote unquote, captured Billsby Crane. Why is that quote unquote? Uh, we want to go check out the other doors so we can make the key. See if we can get the key mold, right, guys? That's good. Uh, remember we were trying to find the materials to make the key? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Um, I remember it was about bunny or anything, but that might be gone. Now. Uh, it was on the bowl ones. Yeah. So there's, so we, we have there's two of them. Orb. Yeah, the one up here yeah. is destroyed. There's another statue down here. It looks a little bit Has more intact compared to the other one. Does it have a button? It does have a button. Right, uh, oh. Before we do that, I am in bed and bloody. So, yep, uh, how about this? We'll go check up on Zed, and then we can short rest. <clears throat> I'm very bloodied. Very bloody. Yeah. I'm good, guys? Yeah. Or we can bring Zed in here with us or something. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh, let's go check on Zed. Come on. We caught Zed? Zed. Oh my lord, that is one ugly creature. Wow, how did you say that? You started, yo, About what? On. Wait, why? <laughs> okay, no, uh, I'm watching a video, on... bro. Wait, what do you think oh, I'm shit. talking about? Okay. Alright. Alright, so where do we do in here? Uh, let's go check up on Zed and we can short rest. And then we can come back. Yeah. How's that sound, guys? I'm down for that. Are you leaving the body here? Mm, yeah. I'm taking the body. Should, let's take the body. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. It's not. Hold on, I gotta get okay, my two yeah. AFK yeah. characters next okay. to each other. Alright, you guys go to get Zed then? Everybody together? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll check up on Zed, keep the body with us, and we'll short rest there. Is yeah. anyone else's roll 20 like really laggy or. Is it... Yeah, are you on Google? Yeah. I am. Try a different browser, because Google seems to be always laggy for me. Okay. On Roll20. Oh, Microsoft Edge coming in clutch, Ethan. <laughs> How'd you know? How'd you know? <laughs> I'm gonna use it too. <laughs> oh my. Zed still... I assume we're outside, right? Yes. We uh, well, you Is guys all make up? your way to the entrance of the cavern. Your four wargs are still there. They're eating some, um, like, meat, or I guess steak or whatever. Uh, one that you did not acquire, and Zed is not tied up anymore. What? Uh, what? Oh, that's oh better. My oh! God. Outside the cave, oh, no. you see a large group. Of I'm so low, bro. People yeah, here. I... I swear to God. One of them that. shouts, and uh, it's this one right here. Can you guys see? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, not the girl we know. Uh, no, it what? is someone new, and she shouts oh, yeah. out to you. Hello there. Hello. Is she the Hello. host? Second, Ethan. How are you? Hello. How are you guys doing? It's a, a current we, we found a ruin inside. You want to come check it out? Crunch um, hit him with a pickup line. That's okay. Okay. There's something else. I I need something from in there, and I was hoping you guys could get it. Oh, what do you need? It's like there's a tower, and inside their tower is something called the Atlas of the Architect. <laughs> okay. Nice. If you could just bring that back for me, that'd be wonderful, and we won't have any uh, issue here. Okay, and what do we get from doing that? You get to walk out of here, alive. Oh. Question, question, what happened to the guy that was tied up? Oh, he seemed in great peril, and I had a friend tell me that he'd be better if we let him go. So I gave your little pet some uh, snack, and I let him go. Yeah. If you could, actually, we'll probably come out later, but could you tell us where he went? 
we kind of need him. Ah, um, I didn't look. I just said him go. Okay. How about a deal? I don't think you're really in a position to make any kind of wagers here. Well, if you get him, the guy that you've left free, we'll go get your your Atlas of the Architect. She raises her right arm as a signal, and then all of the, uh, I guess a lot of these people pull out ranged weapons and aim them at what you guys. Heck? How about this? You go get my uh, item, and I'll let you guys go free. Okay, sure. All right, uh, fine. Miss, can we know your name? Simply just uh, for courtesy's sake, of course. My name is Veli. I'm a warlock. And uh, one of you, Ooh, one of you here, and I are tied pretty closely. Oh, okay. that's me, I guess. That's very weird. So tell me on what's happening. Oh, it's Daryl. My wife is here, and she's uh, we mad at We came out of the cave to check up on Zed. Zed is not there, and these guys are currently holding us at hostage to grab an item from inside the cave. So it's not the big thing. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do that. Missy, we'll take some time though, because we're kind of hurt right now. We're gonna okay. relax. A bit, take your time, take your time. We'll be here. Gotcha. Okay. Don't worry. We'll be back. Have a nice day. You too. Can we take a short rest? Okay, we'll go back inside the cave a little bit and we'll take a short rest. Short okay. rest, and then I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> and then we're gonna kill yep. them all. Yep, true. Oh, Missy, may I know? Are you working for anyone? Like, do we know you? Um, what interest is it up to you who I work for? Just knowing if like you guys try, gonna try and kill us later, like you're nice, you know. I mean, you oh, haven't no, tried no, no. to kill us yet, so. Well, that's because I need you to get my item. Exactly. So we want to know if you believe you're gonna try and kill us after. Oh, we you guys. no! Don't worry about that. I just need the hey. item. What? what? What's, How what about you go item? get it? Why? Why do we have to go? I get shut it? up. Let's go. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh my lord! Hi, G. Not really in a place to negotiate. Yeah, it's and not you. negotiation. Yes, Trish, you're asking stupid ass questions. Let's go. Corin Ching, go. you look out in front of you. You see like at least ten, twelve crossbows and arrows just aimed at you. <laughs> Solon, 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 please use the fury of blows. Uh, I can only use it once. And he drinks, like, <laughs> from his mug. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, and he stumbles back into the cave. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that, friend. He's a little drunk. Do we know what the item does? Uh, no clue. Well, we're, it's the thing that's inside the giant tower. Can we okay. Just... We'll see. All right, so back in first. going back in. Yeah, going back in, and we're gonna take a short rest of like the very front. So, uh, Wait, what if they see a short rest? <laughs> I literally told them that we're gonna take a break. I literally told them that we're gonna take a break. Okay. Okay. I need rest. So I yeah, set you guys here. Rest. Where did you guys want a short rest in this little yeah. altar yeah, room yeah, or? Short rest here. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, I'm still so laggy. Does anybody have it still out lagging? <laughs> Hello? Uh, we're still here, Ethan. How okay. are you? Just laggy? Uh, my map is laggy. Uh, okay. Well, Ethan, we're all short resting. So if you would like to heal, you can. I can help you out. I'll, I'll do. Sure. I'll do it on your end if you needed to. You're good. It's just gonna be. It's okay. just gonna be laggy. Well, let me know if you need me to do any rolls for you. Okay. Oh wait, do we do hit dice? Oh. Yes. So the hit dice. Don't forget, you can heal during a short rest. Oh, sorry, rest I had to use the bathroom. What are we doing? Uh, short, short rest. Resting. Oh, okay. What's the hit dice for? Uh, it's hit for healing. Is... I'm full HP, like, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are. So you you don't need it, uh, Thorin. But everyone else is doing like, it. Slash whatever D eight or D whatever your hit dice modifier is. 
Unless it's different. Uh, so yeah, it's a whatever dice, and then you also add your constitution modifier. Oh. So that's why I usually just click it, because uh, it'll auto-add the constitution modifier. Okay, so plus 10. <laughs> but you're more than welcome to roll a bundle. Rolling bundles is fun. Alright, so uh, Light Shing is back to full health. Uh, he, on a short rest, he gains all his key points back, so he's ready to do more stuns. That is glitched out, interesting. Okay. Uh, you guys want to check out the other rooms, and then we can press this button and see what it is. Alright. Uh, Is it free movement right now? Or? Um. <laughs> Spell. Second here. Boom, boom. Sure. Yes. Well, unless you wish to move to a new area, we'll allow free movement just to make things quicker here. Okay, because I'm going to check out what's up right, this cool. corridor. Alright, here's a plan. Well, what's everybody doing here? Thrist has left. I wanna, uh, I wanna start uh, trying I want... to look the book or like the thing. Yeah, we. I'm guessing we have to press the button on the other statue, but let's check out the rest of the place and check all the corridors and doors that we didn't go through. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eric, do you wanna come with me? All right. Uh, how free roam should we be? Uh, if you want to go to a new area, go to that. But otherwise, you have full free roam, and then we'll start doing these turn roam, turn round. Uh, what we usually do saves us some time from moving around. Uh, does anybody else? Is everybody else going or? I'm not interested. Okay. I'll just wait until it's the turn order thing. You know what? Shame. Room, just in case. Got. Damn it! This is a what? door up here. <laughs> no, because uh, my well, in this for whatever reason in this dungeon it's super laggy or whatever uh, this thing is. Okay, I see, I see. Yeah. Shame. So I don't want to like move. when we were I outside I could move to. freely though. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to stay away from the party or are you guys going with the party? I want to stay with I, the party. Okay. I want to be with, with everyone. That's what I yeah, wanted I, to know. Yeah. That's all I wanted to oh, know. Okay. okay. Yeah, all I right. don't want to split up right now because it's too laggy for me. Cool. I'll just leave. Mean. Eli will lead, and they can just you can move them. That's the opposite of what I said I want to do, but okay. okay. You're gonna stay with us. I'm saying, I'm leading, and you're gonna stay with us. Oh, okay, then Skakas, where are you? <laughs> you're you're not <laughs> lagging, so you're with the rest of the party. There you go. I don't understand what free. What, what are we free moving to? So I'm gonna check out it. all the other rooms inside the dungeon. Didn't we already check out this that. whole place up here? Did we not? No, we have not. There is a bunch of doors that we have, we have not checked. Can I move your characters, uh, Ezra and Ethan? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. Yep. yep. I just don't want it you to be can. like making it laggier for you. Okay. This is a door uh, up here, right? Uh, yes. Like, go up to it. Slowly open the door and try and peek in to see if I see anything. Yeah. Make me a perception check here. I assume you have your torch with you as well? Yes. Okay. Perception check. What can you see? A nine. You open the door, briefly glance in, and pull your head back in. You didn't see anything. I shall open the door. Okay. Opening the door. Out. Uh, uh, I should not see a creature, and I guess I don't have that turn order up. Can you guys see the turn order? Uh, oh. yeah, but it's blink. And nobody's on. Okay. Nobody's rolled yet. Yes. It's a stone creature from before. And we have uh, everybody roll initiative here. That's a My torch. torch rolled initiative. <laughs> you gotta, yeah. Okay. Oh. Ezra and Ethan, are you guys able to roll initiative? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't think I am. When I look at the. Oh, okay, now it is. Okay. Oh okay. my just took gosh, a while for my it initiative is so low. How heck? does Eli get 21? <laughs> Eli and <laughs> Ethan swapped initiative rolls. Damn. Okay. 
Uh, and I'm, I gotta get Lysing in creature. here. Yeah, I gotta get Lysing. Uh -huh. Give me a second, and then. What is a stone creature? Oh. The thing that turns you to stone from before. Oh. Uh, I don't know if Ezra was here last session. Yeah, I can't I remember. Otherwise, Interesting. Eric, you are up. Okay. Uh, it's a little awkward. Let me see. Ten, twenty. Then. Thirty. Okay. So I have enough to. Twenty. Move up here quickly. Because uh, I think I, I heard him say something. Boom. Oh shit! I'm gonna. I'll just blast that. No, just blast. Blah, blah. Uh, oh, shit. Right here. Uh, 26 and 10. Ouch. Um, it's not interfering terrain in terms of, like, vision. It's like a... It's a bed yeah. that's been, like, Is this broken. Is blanket, in. though? Is what I'm asking. Uh, like a very torn up blanket. Let me deal with, um... The attack here. So the 26 will hit, but the 10 will not. Alright. Boom. Oh, Eight force damage goes out here as you blast a creature. And then I'm gonna go boop, boop. back on in. Yeah, and my turn. Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> the creature, angered by your attack, will charge in your direction. Bop, bop. And uh -oh. is going to. Glare down the hallway, biting at Thrisk. A 13 to hit? Uh, doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, that <laughs> is it for him. Thrisk, it is your turn. I will need you to make me a constitution saving throw to avoid the gaze of the creature. Or you can choose to... Let me see if it's a reaction. You can choose to avert your eyes instead of making the save. In which case you will be blinded until your next turn. Constitution saving throw. Ooh. Seventeen. You're good. Sure. <laughs> My strength. My strength is horrible. I guess I'll just do a simple stabby stab. I need a sword. Uh, a six to hit. Six is not gonna hit. Sorry. And my turn. Okay. You wanna move or are you gonna stay there? Uh, I'll stay here. Thorin, you are up. Wait. Is this like a? pathway like is this a narrow this is a yeah. narrow hallway yeah so can i move on to thrisk and hit or how does this work no unfortunately you can move around me you can move through but you can never end your movement on another creature one two three okay well that's kind of dumb yeah um i can't do anything then are you just gonna stay there then, or you will, will you move on? Oh, I mean, like I have twenty-five movement. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just because yeah, of your yeah. position. You're I just gonna stay right there. Like... Okay. Yeah. Skakas, you can see the creature glaring at you. I will either need you to make me a Constitution saving throw, or you can choose to avert your eyes. Am I able to see him? Because it's in front of me. Uh, yeah. You can still see through creatures like that. That'd be really bad, though. Yeah. 22. Oh my. You guys starting oh off today with some really good rolls. You are good to go there, Skakas. How would you same. like to take your turn? Shoot it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is not gonna hit. A 10 is actually a, yeah, a miss, unfortunately. I guess I'll move back to the two Okay. Oh, nah, it's fucked. This hallway is fucked. You gotta go back. Oh, and Corn Shing. will just pass his turn. He's stuck here as well. But okay. Corn Shing. What can I. What am I able to? You're not able to squeeze past. 
Um, okay. You can avert your eyes. But I will need you to make me oh. that constitution saving throw, Corinching, or All avert right. your eyes. Throw your sword at um, <laughs> I'm just gonna I hit throw you. My sword at it? <laughs> <laughs> well, first make me the saves. So either okay. avert your eyes well, or make the... me the save. Okay, I'll do the save. Okay, um... constitution saving throw. Ooh. You're good to go. <laughs> Would you like to throw <laughs> your weapon at it? I'm gonna throw my Don't fucking okay. us. N uh, roll to hit with disadvantage. Uh oh. That's that's not worth it, bruh. 21. 21. Okay. 18. Roll me damage. Oh, yeah, 21. 10 damage. 10 damage here. <laughs> you don't have your great sword as it's lodged into the side of this creature now. Very angry. I hope it's pinned down. It's not. It is not pinned down. The sword's inside of it now. So. Anything else, Corinching? I hope that lizard runs away with your sword, no. bro. Oh. I have like two good idea. more swords. <laughs> Eric, it is your turn. Okay. Um. Am I good on its eyes? Can I uh, every turn, I'll need you to make me yeah, either avert your eyes or make me that Constitution saving throw again. All right. So I'll make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah. All right, come on, come on, don't don't fail me. You guys are rolling really well in these con saves. That's good. You can That's still keep going. Okay. Yeah. I'm uh, move right here and I'm gonna blast it. Blast it. Blasting it. Right. Boom boom. Oh, natural twenty. Oh. All right, both of them are gonna hit. Boom boom. Minus. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage here. Is that 28? How do you want to do this one, Eric? Uh, straight through. Lengthwise. Alright. Riss does some matrix as you launch out two bolts of eldritch energy searing through the entire body of the um, creature. It lies on the floor, motionless. And all that remains is Cornshing's greatsword. <laughs> Oh yeah. Take his sword. Yep. It's our it's our loot now. I'll stab you. Whoa! With, with one... what weapon? <laughs> oh like no! Three no. other weapons. Oh. Yeah, you do. Right. Okay. Yeah. Ethan, there's probably some like enemy at the bottom of that pit. Throw your sword down there, okay? No. Actually, well, can I make a blowgun with my cunning artisan? Or no. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about that when we're out of the the group. Okay. But I oh, think blowguns exist in the game anyway. And I shall move up here to check out. I'll inspect the room. Anything in here? Uh, let's see. This room. Like... Give me a second. This room is just void of any kind of useful item. Right. Okay. That this is, is a door up here? Yeah. Then I shall open this door because I already know where this one leads to. Uh, that's a door. Ba bomb. Yeah. Alright. And there's a room like over here. Yeah. Uh, let's check out this top room. This is the last room we gotta check, and then we can press that button on the guardian. Alright. Yep. As we're on Ethan, I'm dragging again. you guys around. Okay, thank you. Do you want to be on the left or right side here? There's we something. had this door opened already. Did you? Yeah, My we bad. walked into here. My bad. All right, boys, the water's just fine. Okay. Is this a stove? Yeah, a rundown stove. Is that Damn. another door? It is another yeah, door. Yeah, this is the last door that we had Damn. to check. Okay. Um, I assume opening the door. Can I break the hinges off of it? <laughs> sword? You can. Um, what do you want the door? Are you just like trying to break it to break the door down, or yeah, to break the door down? All right, why don't you just roll me a attack roll with your weapon? Watch this not work at all. 
15 15 hit uh, a two slashing <laughs> a two slashing um, i need a new sword it's Actually, not the like, best Ethan, can you give me... in terms of destroying doors Ethan, can you give me one of your extra swords that you don't need wait do i have my great sword back by the way did you i assume <laughs> you picked it up right yeah Ethan? i did okay yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get it. And I'll just oh, okay. Ethan, uh, Cornshin, get out of the way in case there's something behind the door, or are you gonna open it? I'll, I'll open it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Opening the door. Ching. You see a hallway that turns a corner. Man, uh -oh. you guys are scary cats. Okay. Run it, boy. I'm gonna <laughs> push up, baby. Pushing up. Oh. All right, can you move me or? I I can move you. Are you guys still right. incapacitated? It's another door. She. She. In front of you, you see a hallway f cluttered with much more rubble, and a door as well. Okay. Let's open that shit. Can I open this door? Yes. Uh, you'll have to be in front of it to open it. Ah, uh, like I see. I shall open the door. This is where we all die. All right, I'm just moving all the other characters around. Uh, door is opening. If and I there's can... a cannon on the other side. Barrel. Uh oh. You step another inside barrel. as another of these creatures lunges out at you. Uh, -oh. uh putting it on the turn order here. It rolled terribly. <laughs> Oh my. All right. <laughs> Wait, zero. Natural zero. This is gonna go terribly for him. <laughs> Eric, you are up first. I'm gonna. Hey, Bolt, how does its uh, gaze thing work? Does it have to look into my eyes or. As long as it can see you. Alright, I'm gonna move right here. Oh, Wait. Okay. Does so... it see your. It has to see your eyes or. Yes. Okay. So, um, Eric, once you move there, you do have line of sight to the creature. Uh, right. Either make the constitution saving throw or avert your eyes. I shall make the constitution saving throw. Boom. Twelve. Oh. No. oh. <laughs> bye bye. You made the save. Oh. Surprisingly, okay. you made the save. Okay. All right. All right. Last thing. Blam, blam. Ouch. Uh. Ew. The 17, yes. Alright, boom. you weak, uh, Another eight. eight. <laughs> I just imagine Crunching ins insulting him from the background here. you weak, <laughs> you're you're weak, weak. yo. Alright, eight All right. force damage here. All Anything right, else? Then... Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. Thrisk can, it can also see you, Thrisk, so either avert your eyes or make me the constitution saving throw. I'll do con. You're good to go. These are some really good con saves you guys are rolling. And I go up to it. Yes. And like, how tall is this creature? Uh, I'd say maybe for you. How tall are you? Uh, I think I'm pretty tall. Okay, <laughs> I'll say about I, I, your waist. I don't remember the exact number. Oh, wait, oh, I let am... me see how big these things are. They don't tell me. <laughs> I say. Oh yeah, they look. Pretty... Uh, I'm six foot four. Yeah, these are like bear size. Six foot four. Bear. Yeah, bear size, but oh, not not height? like they don't cover that wide area. They're just like tall. Um, so at least up to your, what are you six four? Maybe your chest. Or maybe a little shorter than your chest. Okay. Then can I jump on it? Sure. Make me an acrobatic right. check. Okay, I'll see how well this goes. Oh, oh. Uh, oh my you god. leap oh, on top of it. There we go. Only instead of landing on top of it, you simply jump right at its face and you fall down onto your back here. You won't take any damage for falling, but you are now prone. Mm -hmm. Okay, Interesting. Uh, Can I use the rest of my movement to get up? <laughs> yeah, you'll stand back up. So that's five forward, and then half your movement gone. Uh, and then you'll have, I believe, like ten more feet. Okay. 
Well, I guess that was my action. So then can I just raise my shield and put it in front of its uh, face? Sure, yeah. Okay. And then Thorin, we go to you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's kind of... Six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. I wish so. You got the battle. Move up. Here. <laughs> and that's it. I can't really see things. My my angle of vision is really weird right now. Um It's like a I can see up here. Oh, I can't even click. How's that work for you? Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, yeah okay, I could only bad. see like that. Yeah, no worries. Let me know if you have lighting issues. Roll 20's lighting issue can be a little iffy. Yes. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's it for. I mean, like, I can't see the the thing. You, or yeah, you it cannot. Is, so. It's. Then we we'll go to Skakas. Seven, two, eight, four, five, six, seven. Is there anything? This is just a torch, right? Yeah, the, uh, it's a torch so that uh, Ezra can see the map. Okay. Wow, there's nothing in here. Moving into the room, <laughs> I will need you to make me a constitution saving throw or avert your wow. eyes. You could just leave this thing alone. You know, there's really nothing in this room. Well, we don't know that yet. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Just kill it. Just kill it. Um, go roll, I guess. I'm trying to block its gaze with my shield. Nine. Shoes. Okay. Your body begins mm -hmm. to tense up a little. Right. You can take your turn as My... normal. Right. Turn. Yeah. Just... Twenty-one. <laughs> Twenty-one will hit. Give me the damage. Mine is five fire damage here. Oh my god. Oh, okay. The your arm stiffen a little. You shoot out a bolt of fire at it. Anything else from you, Skakas? Lysheng will move up here and take a sip from his mug and then uh, we'll pass the corn shing. Corn shing. Ah, yes. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Can I, like, move between these guys? You can move through them, Ethan. You can't end uh -huh. your turn on them. Oh, okay. Cool. Can I do this? You certainly can. Throw your sword at it. Move here. All right, and then uh, Ethan. And then, am I able to attack it from here? Uh, not with a melee weapon. Throw your move sword. Up here. Can I? No, I can throw move. it. Like, oh, I you. Use I'll say you can, but it's. I don't have enough movement. Oh, okay, you're out. So. Okay. Yep. Uh, I will need you to make me a Constitution or... saving throw, Corinching. Uh, okay. Or avert your eyes, if you would like. I'm going to make Do you know what the word up. avert means, Ethan? Move away. Oh, good job. Ooh. And he made the save. Alright. That's a word. Maybe. I'm gonna throw my sword. <laughs> this creature here, with not much room to maneuver, will bite at Thrisk. Do I have advantage? 12 to hit. Oh, wait. wait, are you throwing your sword, Ethan? Yeah. Oh, my bad. He said he was going to do that. Uh, no. Okay, uh, go and roll to hit. Uh, it's With disadvantage oh. because your weapon is not a throwing weapon. Okay. Oh my lord! Oh. A 26 oh will hit though. 26 will still hit. I see you. Let's go! 16 Let's damage. Go. Not a crit, but 16 damage is still good. I gotta adjust your crit All stuff right. here. Sheesh. As Thrish, you hear Cornishing beating and like just running his way down here. And you quickly dodge out of the side. He has his great sword comes flying through the air. These things should not be hitting by any means, yet they <laughs> certainly are. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, and then it will attack you, but it will a twelve, 12 right, against Thrisk. Uh, against Thrisk. Oh, okay. And I'm guessing that's a miss. And then we go to Eric. Okay. Constitution. Uh, constitution or averting your Am I gaze. blocking it? 
Zeth's eyes when I said I will raise the shield. That was really just what I was trying to do. Oh, no. It still got mm -hmm. enough movement to kind of sway its body around that it can still catch everybody else. 14. 14. You are good. 13 <laughs> is a miss, and a 14 will hit. Okay. I say even at this angle, you could you could just ignore the cover anyways. All right, 10 force damage. Okay, it's definitely looking bad. Otherwise, we can go to Thrisk, make me a constitution saving throw. Nineteen, you are good. Okay, and then I stab it. Stabbing it. Six. Oh, not the best here with the scimitar. Yeah, see, I I, I need a new sword, Corn Shing. Wanna pass me that sovereign sword? No, I how about my great you... sword? I can't carry that, sir. <laughs> Thorin, it is your turn. Unless Thrist would like to move. I am my turn. I'll just keep trying to block its face with my shield. Are we going up or down? Where is Thrisk actually? He's I'm up. up inside the room. Oh. Is there more to that room in there? Uh, they're Pretty fighting a creature in there, if anything. Okay, so if I come here, what do I see? Okay. Don't Nothing. Really see anything. <laughs> and if I come, is the creature like to my left or what? Your to left. Right? So one, Left. two, three, four, five. Can I land there? Uh, oh, I do you have enough movement? Yep, five, twenty-five. Yeah, I'll say you can squeeze in there. And now I'll need you to make me a constitution saving throw or avert your eyes as it begins glaring in your direction as you enter oh. the room. Hmm, I didn't think about that, did I? <laughs> Ready for the one? Let's see it. Yep. <clears throat> I see yeah, it. But I see it, I see it, I see it. Boom. One. Oh. oh you're good. Good rolls today. Uh, you got about to get smacked, boy. Damage yeah. oh, rolls are bad, but our saving throws are 21 uh, will hit him. Give me the yeah. damage. I'm going to give you that. Nine bludgeoning damage. How do you want to do this, Thorn? Yeah. I'm going to just. You know, in in Super Smash Brothers, when they get that massive hammer and they just fly around <laughs> bonking people? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do, boy. And Thorne begins swinging his uh, hammer through the air furiously. One of them connects with the Basilisk, smashing its face in and spilling yeah. its Four. brains all over the floor. Oh, my God. Skakas, hey. I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. It's dead. What do you mean? <laughs> this is the one. He okay. makes another one at the end of his turn. What have we <laughs> gone ourselves into here? Welcome here. So long, you're dead. Lysing uh, as you so long, come I'm back. Short and dead got out. There's a person outside the cave that's holding this hostage. Uh, we have to get an item from inside the giant thing. That's it. Cost is dead. Lysing yep. as you come back from your you know brief drinking stint, you see Skakas in front of you slowly begin to turn to stone as his entire body uh -oh. solidifies okay oh, let's make sure he doesn't this is a very fragile statue that we have here right now i have to push him is over. he like completely stone now everything or... is stone everything on him is stone aside from anything uh -oh. wait anything any magical items he had are not stone but otherwise everything he has is petrified that potion. That I was dead. Yeah. My HP looks pretty Can we okay. Take out the petrification. I healed you, Lashin. <laughs> hmm? Who has the petrification potion? Boom. I think it's either one of those two. That's all. I, I do not have it. I do not have it. Then it's on. It's uh... dead. <laughs> no, he said anything that's not magical. So that potion should be fine. Can I, can I search him for the potion? Uh, it's not hanging on his side. It's probably in a pouch or underneath his cloak. And uh, is it cloak? if you were to touch anything, you would break. Huh. That's not good. Uh, how how fragile is it? 
Uh, when it comes to petrification, you've probably heard some tales of it. You've, um, as long as like their internal organs, like, like if you break the arm of someone who's petrified and then they come back, they're probably going to be alive, but they're going to be bleeding from that wound there. But if you shatter them, they are gone. Okay. So basically, um, he's thankfully yeah. well balanced. But, uh, yeah, thankfully he's not standing on one leg right now. <laughs> right, keep Corn Shing away okay. from him. Yeah, Corn, you stay away. Um, Why? Right, <laughs> oh, whoever has away. high sleight of hand, try and get the potion then. Uh, yeah, that is not me, I think. Uh, I think that the best person for that would probably be Lai Shing. I mean, last time I tried though, and it was terrible. <laughs> All right. Um, and when you're when you're petrified, you can't do anything. Say again, Eric or Eli. When you're petrified, you aren't able to do anything. You're just completely stuck. Pretty much. I think there is a. Oh my god. Even though he was dead, though. There is a medicine effect. Um, he is transformed along with any non-magical objects he is wearing or carrying into a solid, inanimate, uh, lowered volume here for so long. Yeah. A solid, yeah, inanimate object, uh, usually stone, which he is, and its weight factor increases by 10. He oh. ceases aging. Uh, he, oh. The creature is incapacitated, uh, cannot move or speak, and is unaware of his surroundings. Attacks against the creature have advantage. Uh, it automatically fails dex and, saving, dex, and, dex and strength throws as resistance to all damage. And is immune to poison and disease, although a poison disease on the system is not neutralized. Is this the the lizard? <clears throat> the lizard did this. The lizard. Do I have any idea how long this lasts? Roman nature <laughs> check. Wait, the lizard did this to who? To Daryl. <laughs> That's so funny. What the heck? Ouch. A twelve. I have an idea of it's permanent. what we could do. Oh, okay. Uh... I have an idea of what we could do if we don't want to risk it at all. I can, if we long rest, I can change one of my spell slots to stone shape and uh, mend the stone so I don't break anything. Is that how this works? Well, let's find out. Wait, wait, Abel. Okay, sorry. So. Daryl is now a stone he is figure. stone is this a spell or what is it this is an effect caused by the creature not a spell okay so, so it's not a spell okay yeah. all right okay and all of his items are like underneath stone his cloak well, all or... his non magical items are turned to stone it, I mean, like, um, like, oh, his regular I items, just, I assume, are yeah. inside, uh, like a pouch or something, or um, inside his cloak, out of reach. Out of reach. Okay. And if anything, uh, potion bottles are not magical, so they turn to stone anyways. But the liquids inside should still. Uh, mm. are you, are you, I don't how, believe do you, so. Do you just pour the liquid we'll on someone look. who's petrified? How does this work? Uh, for in, in, in terms of a uh, rules potion, yes, just pour it on them. Just pour it on them. So okay, is the potion not magical? Um, I'm gonna like go with the liquid. I'm gonna go with in terms of this petrification, it'll turn it to stone. Because otherwise, I mean, yeah. if he had it on him, it'd just negate that part, anyways. Okay, time to look for more petrification potions. Is there anything in this room? This room is empty. Rip. Okay, I guess I guess we're leaving him here for now. <laughs> right. Can we search the facility? There is one more room you guys have not searched. All right, let's let's go find it. I swear to God. And I will take you okay. guys there. Oh. Okay. Oh sure. Goodbye, Skakaz. New character. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't asked him to do that yet, because there's still a chance. All right. 
this room. Is it this room up here? The trapped cannon oh. room. The door oh. still hanging loosely and the cannonball scattered into smithereens. Then I shall enter. Do I not have my torch? I don't have oh, my sorry. torch. Oh, sorry. I guess the torch did not decide to come. It's coming. It's coming! Uh, Scott Goss will join you because that way he can at least see what's going on. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. But for all intents and purposes, he's still in that hallway. Oh. I search the room for any sort of potion. Give me a investigation check. Uh, give me a second here. Okay, yep. Uh, we have a three. I'd like to do some looking around as well. The room is cluttered and difficult to find anything of use. Eric, please find something. Help. Nine. <laughs> it's a potion. It shouldn't be that hard to find. <laughs> The desk itself, empty. The skeleton on the floor is clutching a journal. And you do find that, as well as in his bag, one petrification solution. Yeah. Let's go. All right, I'm uh, going to grab one. Ethan, go break it right now. <laughs> I will hand I the journal the to you guys, though. What's up? May I obtain the potion very carefully? May I obtain the potion? May I drink the potion? <laughs> oh. Yo, what the fuck is this? How is, how is, how is, uh... is I love you with my heart. Mira. Okay, Mira. How are you supposed to give Daryl the You just yeah. apply potion. it like an ointment. You apply oh, it like an ointment. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. Well, what's going on here? With Abel? You find the journal uh, of what appears to be, what you assume, Daryl. Wait, 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 wait. Daryl. <laughs> you guys are in the book, Eli and Daryl. Ethan and Ethan. Ethan. It's a little sus. Um, in and the find, book. You find or inside you find the journal of the private first class Com Ander. Com Ander. Detailing. What appears to be a journey into this dungeon. Uh, if you want, I can read it to you guys. Otherwise, you can read it at your leisure. We fucking died, It's over. It's singing. <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> heck is this? Abel, Abel you trying to try to tell us bro. something? It's my fan singing. It's a little bit suspicious. Bro. I love fan horse. fiction. <laughs> what the okay. heck? Can I take the potion and go apply it? Can we go apply it onto uh, sure. skip costs? We'll skip all the theatrics and say as you run your way back into the hallway, pouring the um, potion or solution all over Skakas, it quickly dissolves the stone. And it's like um, whenever you wash like sand at a beach off of your skin, kind of like that, as it begins to slowly just fall down his body and Skakas, you can feel yourself coming back to life you let out a huge gasp of air and you have no idea what happened one moment uh corn or uh, thorin smashed the uh creature the next you are here in the hallway now i have a question so now that i'm not startled like do all my items like also return to nothing so i don't yes they do anything. your items and yeah everything you have that was stone is no longer stone. He said he dropped his weapon. Can I search for this? Except weapon. your PP, Daryl. Is that one what? stone? What? You got a stone PP now. Ew. He'll be happy. How is he gonna use the bathroom now? I can't find the key then. He won't need. Piss out his butt. <laughs> Mira, wait. What's the name of the the girl outside? Valley? Uh, Valley? Valley. Valley. Okay. Valley. Valley. Uh, this yeah. body looks very old. It's like a skeleton. Oh. Okay. Well past decomposed. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Where would you guys like to go? Go back. <laughs> right, go back to the stuff. Okay. Culture. Hang on tight here. I'm gonna do the quick drag and drop. Drag <laughs> 
No, not yet. We got Ray oh. takes the several years for a body to completely decompose to a skeleton. Interesting. Okay, uh, I think we just press the button on this thing now. All right. Think? I think you should do it. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it. Okay. I volunteer as tribute. Get ready, boys. Uh. Oh well. Can we? We should prep some spells first. <coughs> I only see darkness. Oh, what? Sound oh, good? Nah, I'm, I see it now. Sorry, I moved everybody. Uh, okay, I see it. Damn. Can I tell these boys to prep their weapons and spells? Why? Mr. Why? Eric and Skikos. In case this thing starts moving and trying to kill me, what do you think? What um, thing? I think it should kill you. Line. What thing are we talking well, about? Well, do you want to... Okay, then you can press the button. Oh, uh, you can. Okay. Button. Then shut up. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Prepare your spells, goddammit, so I don't die in three seconds. I draw yeah, my Ethan's, sword. Ethan's preparing his sword throw spell <laughs> again. Yep. Yep. Sure. Yes, yes. Skakas and Eric, please. He did not have a ranged Guardian weapon. Leviosa. No. <laughs> he shouldn't be hitting with these stupid ranged attacks. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm not even doing battles with them, too. Alright. Press button. All right. Press Everybody button. ready? You push the button. It begins to stir to life as the statue begins to move around. And I will need everybody to once again roll initiative. Oh, I lost my 21. <laughs> they prepare their spells? Nobody said anything, <laughs> so uh, we're going in. I said I draw my sword. Ethan my does have his sword drawn, so... I, don't do I have my hands drawn, okay? <laughs> Darius got his rock PT drawn. Oh no. Is, is Solon's server muted or are you just muted by himself? I think he's muted by himself. Solon, are you here with us? Or should I take over drunk Lyshing again? Give us a sign! I'm sorry. Solon! I think he might be AFK. Oh, he's back! Oh. Hey, Solon! It... Wait, what? What? <laughs> Hello? Okay. <laughs> the tor oh, you grabbed the torch again. <laughs> I'll right. let you re-roll. Uh, you're a little better. Um, I'll re-roll for I'll roll for slicing here. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay. All right, slicing. Um, we're gonna move him up. Bippity boppity boop. And he's gonna do the bippity boppity slap here. Bippity boppity. Claps his hands Hold together. It. And here we go. Come on. 23 and a 12. Uh, one will hit. <laughs> one lightning damage and six bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, I'll end his turn there, and we go to Skakas. Okay. Uh, uh, we're just, uh, why? Good buys. I'll move over here, so uh, it's not gonna kill me. And then I'm just gonna shoot it. Does that hit? Does that hit? Fifteen will hit. <laughs> Twelve fire damage. As it sears off and chunks part of the uh, statue here. Uh, anything else from you, Skakas? No. Otherwise. It will go to the uh, statue here. It's going to let out a roar and it's going to use its haste action here. Gaining oh. a plus two to its armor class and then giving itself advantage on decks. And then it can use its slam attack as a bonus action. So it's going to slam. Uh, oh, slam Lyshing. Since Lyshing's the one that hit it. 26 to hit. He dodges out of the way. <laughs> uh, 14 bludgeoning damage to Lyshing. Okay. You're back. Welcome back. 
No. Yes. Okay. And then I need you to make me a constitution saving throw, Lightshing. Okay, not dexterity? Uh, yep. Constitution. Okay. Okay, thank you. Alright, end of that guy's turn. He can't move anywhere. Nope. We'll go to Eric. Is it just stop? And I'm gonna say that's walled off. Uh. Who's that mysterious figure with the glasses? <laughs> Y'all mad? He's not been. He has not been paying attention. He did. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Eric, hello. Uh, Eli? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I blast. Oh, my bad. Uh, 22 and 33 both will hit. Boom. Boom, boom. boom. 50. Oh, oh, big chunking damage here. Dealing 23 points of boom. force damage. Ching. Anything yeah, else from turn? Okay. <sighs> Risk. You're up here. The statue has come to life. Uh, after those last two attack begins to yell and rage here. Uh, My turn? Oh, one second. I gotta do rolls. Okay. It is now Berserk. Oh. oh. Okay. So, Thrist. Go ahead, that means you can probably take, like, additional attacks. Just in effect. Okay. Uh, My turn? Yes, yes. Constrictor Snake. Constrictor Snake here. Oh, boy. Big, big snake. And then... I constrict. Constricting in 18, 18 to hit. hit. Uh, yeah. Okay. 16 bludgeoning damage, and he's now restrained. Bludgeoning damage here. The bludgeoning doesn't also seem... Whoa. counts as magical. Yes, that's right. I remember you saying it. And now he is grappled. Anything else from you? Uh, nope. Alright, Corrin Ching. What the drink. heck? What is this? Is this a snake from Jungle Book? <laughs> yeah. I wish it wasn't so <laughs> cartoony. <laughs> it's a Jungle Book snake, yeah. bro. <laughs> it's super cartoony. It's not the first time. Crunching. Alright, still doing these ranged attacks. Disadvantage. A great short attack here. 27. Whoa. 17. Hi. 17 hits, though. Eight slashing damage here. The attack isn't as effective against its form. Okay, I wanna step up right here. Okay. Uh, okay, do that, and then I wanna attack with my sovereign sword. Sovereign sword. Um. Yes, I will allow it. Did you get two attacks? So one with that, and then one with your sovereign sword. Twenty-one. Uh, Thirteen. No, hey, he has advantage. Oh, that's right. 21. 11 slashing damage plus 1 radiant. Okay. I don't have charge, so that's Okay. We took a short rest. Did you. Does that only refresh on the Yeah, long rest. Oh, I thought that was. I think it's short rest, Ethan. I think it's short rest. Oh, it's both. Oh my gosh, I get Yes. Okay, so if you want to, you can. It. Yep. Don't, don't, don't. What? Okay. No. He's using it. No meta gaming. Oh my god. And a natural 20. <coughs> that's a lot of damage. Oh, oh, and that's more than enough to take him out here, Corrin Shing. So... How do you want to do it? Um. Hmm. I want to go up to him and then. I want to slice his arms off. I want to slice his, his head off. And then I want to slice his body off. And then I want to cut <laughs> his two legs. <laughs> Levi He's style. dismembering him. As you run up to him, you swing your sovereign sword in a flurry of uh, blows here, cutting off the arms, the head, dicing up the torso into tiny little bits, and finishing up with his legs. And the then body. he puts the sword back in his scabbard. Yeah, back into his scabbard. And then it all happens. <laughs> the 
stone itself crumbles and turns to dust and all that remains is a very familiar marble silver marble <coughs> okay eric get over oh i can't talk uh untransform it is untransforming yeah i pick up the uh orb and i walk over to eric because i know he has the other one in the key bulb and these are books, or uh, it's just a, it's just a scattered alt. Nothing okay. of note. Okay. Uh, can we try putting the orbs inside the key bulb? <laughs> uh, well, Eric has it. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll take the other orb from him. Okay. Uh, do these orbs fit into the key bulb? Um. Do you want to put them in? It's it's not. Uh, so there's like a key mold, and then you right. like you drop the, you could drop it into the mold itself. Uh huh. I don't know if that's what uh, you want to do though. I, I'll give that a try. You drop the metal marbles into the mold. They clink as they hit each other, and after a brief second, the runes around the mold begin to glow. This bright silver that matches the um, marbles color and then the mar oh. marbles themselves begin to melt and fill the mold in the shape of the key this strange oh. looking key well, after a brief second key. it solidifies and if you want you can take it out of the mold i would like to the key out of the mold, and you have, uh, I guess, a key now. Alright, uh, let's... Keep the mold. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Shall we I'll head down? Back downstairs. Yes. Back to the... Where are you guys going? Uh, downstairs. The vault thing. Place. I want to check around that corner that we didn't check before. Oh, wait, we already did. I think you did. Yeah, I'm pretty That's, sure yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. you guys There's did. Room there. Is Billsby staying up top? Yeah, uh, cause... someone's gonna take the body. I swear. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll carry the body for now. Okay. Not all the way to the vault, but like at the bottom of the stairs. Bottom of the stairs. Okay, I'll leave him at the bottom of the stairs, and I will transfer you guys to the vault. Uh, oh. I I now fall into the void. I am dead. Now fall into the void, and I need a new character. Lost two members. All right. You approach. The brass statue with its keyhole glaring at you. The tower itself like... intimidating. I'm going to walk up. About... Hmm? I was going to say, uh, we back off while you do that in case yeah. you try to kill us. Sure, you guys, uh. I don't know what's in there, man. You guys can More... back off. Yeah, yeah, back off. Okay. Can drag the other guys back. Sure. Er, what's everybody else doing? I think they're all AFK. Yeah. Um. I mean, I'm not too sure. Just what's come back, because if anything happens, Eric can thunderstep out of there. <sighs> okay. So we just stay. I think we people? just stay back in case yeah. there is something. What if you get the back there? Oh. Sound good? Just get uh, back into the hallway. Push. Yeah, get back into the hallway, boys. How Where much people can he um, thunderstop out? He just has to prepare the spell. Oh. Uh, can I get my torch back? Oh, uh, yeah. Oops. That's oh, not Wait, mine. no, that's I not the one, it. is it? Yeah, one of them is mine. Make this one yours. That one, or bam. Okay. I'll give Solon a torch. Wait. Solon, you'll be able to control this torch here. Do I, so I can move it around now? Uh, one second. Oh, alright, this torch. Uh, it'll have the uh, yellow one. Yellow. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. 
Okay. So, where is everybody positioning themselves? Do I need to move Ezra and Ethan again? I'm yeah, I think there. you do. Because okay. I, like, is, I'm struggling to yeah, move. Yeah, um, yeah. You can just where, where do you guys want to stand? Um... I can... I shouldn't be in the back. Like, maybe in the middle of some people. Because I have too little movement. Just move right here, behind me. I'll move behind him too. Right here. Okay. Lashing, you're on the bridge here. No, okay. Oh. Alright, Is Eric? there no priority or is it free roam right now? Uh, it's free roam. Free <coughs> roam. We're still on the hunt for that dude, yeah? Bill B. Crane. This guy is very drunk. <laughs> He's very drunk. <laughs> we already got him. We're very drunk. Oh, my bad. <laughs> hey, we got him. Nice. Hey, oh, that's uh, right. That journal thing, right? Come up here. Come up here. Anyway, Big come next off. to me. Flashing. Stand next to you? Yes, yeah, stand up here. Oh, whoop. Mr. Drunk Man is right. missing too much content. And Eric, just prepare a uh, Thunderstep spell. Wait. And then open it. Um... Right. I'm going to take out the key. Okay. Right before I insert the key, I'm going to I'm going to quickly prepare my dimensional door. All right. You prepare to cast dimension door here in case any danger comes at me from Got the it. side of here. Just teleport me right back over here, okay? And I insert the key. The key sort of pulls itself into the keyhole like a magnet. The key then begins to melt and dissolve and fill the keyhole. And the statue itself slowly begins to slide aside, letting like this stone on stone sound scraping against each other, revealing mm. the inside of the tower unlit and dark. Okay. I guess we need some light. Get the uh, torches up. I will. I'll move up with the torch. Okay. There's a different part of this map. So I'm gonna. Uh, do you have to drag us over? No, I just get yeah. Boop, boop. Oh. Sure. Darkness. Oh whoa! Wow. That's, that's oh, pretty cool. Stairs. That looks All like right. a broken bathtub. An empty fountain sits in the corner, drained of whatever liquid once flowed through it. The spiral staircase positioned in the corner leads upward. And I, uh, you have free room. room. Yeah, make me an investigation check if you would like. What's everybody else doing as Eric moves into here? Yeah, investigation, Jack. Let's go. What did you find, Eric? Did I give you the site? Yes, I'll check out this fountain. See if I can recognize anything about it. See if there's liquid or even a drop left. Sure. Investigation check 24. Uh, the risk, why don't you make me... I guess make me a, what's that? a, a nature check. See what you know about water and fountains. Skakas, Corin, and Thorin, what are you two doing? Sure. What are you doing, bruh? Mm. What are you doing? So there's what nothing else to staircase? check around in here, right? This is there's a staircase. a staircase. I mean, but we're all waiting to go down there. We're not going to go there now. Yeah, yeah. we're going to investigate this room first and go down. Right. Do you like to go down? Uh, careful, Thorin, because this is. Staircase goes up. It goes up, Ethan, not down. Okay, up. Yeah. Just like your rank. Anything? Are you fine? Um, I'm just waiting on what, what is everybody else doing. Yeah, bro, I'm chilling, just bro. Chilling, they're just chilling. Exploring the four corners of this Got land. it. Uh, Eric, really they don't find anything, but your attention is drawn to the fountain. Huzz. Oh. Or I guess the risk. <laughs> I'm looking at I have, like, different names here. <laughs> All good. Uh, you...
you recognize that the fountain itself does not, or at least when it was active, did not, I guess, shoot water. Uh, you can recognize, you know, when water like leaves that stain behind on like rock or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what that's called. Yep. But there is no trace of that on this fountain. This fountain, if anything, is clean. Uh, aside from whatever debris and um, spider or cobwebs that uh, now fill its vacant space here. So it's not wet. Or it, water did not flow through it. Oh. <laughs> Was there something that specifically drew me to the fountain? Um, it's just the room itself is empty. Let's see. Oh. Um, you do see cracks. Not like um, not like cracks in terms of like breaking, but like strange cracks um, that seem to be like built into the fountain. Maybe okay. maybe a breakaway floor. Oh, like on the bottom. On on the bottom of the uh, fountain. Oh, do I maybe push at them, or? You push at it, and it's just like pushing at a floor. Hard. Oh. Uh, um, and like, I can't get a grip to like try and pull it. It's too small. No, it's they're like it. They're like tight next to each other, but you can definitely okay. you can definitely make out the crack there. Okay. Is there any kind of like smell being produced by it? Anything uh, I can recognize? Nothing of note. Only thing that. Only smell is what you've been smelling, the dank kush that Cornishing is smoking. You're not about to cast shatter, are you? Let's just go up the stairs and see what's yeah. up there. Okay, everybody going upstairs? Yep. Yeah. All right. Gather everybody around. Journey okay. upstairs. There's more. Oh, books. There's oh. more to the uh, staircase, but you find yourself at the first room. A oh, some there, sort there. of library here. Mm. I would like to check out the library. I shall assist them uh, well, in finding you any books of notice. Or something. <laughs> Thorin, or I mean, uh, Eric, you can make me an investigation check with advantage. What's everybody else doing here? Um, I mean, is there nothing here aside from books? Uh, this room, yes. Okay. Seems to be a library of sorts. Okay. I'll investigate the next one. Okay. Yep, same. Alright, then in that case, with that roll... Eric, you find what you've been looking for, if anything. Oh? It's written in common, but it also contains other languages. Uh, spanning from Dwarvish, Elvish, and uh, Celestial. Hey, finally! You also finally. see language in that cipher that I gave you. I think. Are does anyone any... here know Elvish? Was it? No. Oh, yeah, Eric's a half elf. Your yeah. cipher is incomplete, so you can barely make out what it is. Um, Abel. Yes. Are there any books with orcish, like, language in them? Uh, what are you looking for? Pretty unique. Uh, just any book in the library. Uh, sure, I'll say you find a book. Uh-huh. What type? Uh, it's <laughs> called Tusk Love. Okay. Uh, actually, Abel. Yeah. Can I try polling on every book, just to see if there's, like, any kind of hidden mechanism, perhaps. Sure. I don't know. Thrift begins we'll yanking just... at all the books, throwing them all to the floor. I, uh, I never said I was throwing them on the floor. That's ruining anybody's <laughs> chance of investigating. Hey. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. I said pulling, not yanking. All right, throwing. fine. Be like that. Damn. <laughs> that kind of show respect? This is knowledge. I don't think mm. Thrisk is a man of <laughs> a lizard weak. man of knowledge. <laughs> Uh, you don't find anything from the books. Okay. Uh, anything else anybody wanted to do? I'll read the book. 
God damn it. currently scattering for books to read. And the book that I found just has bits of the cipher. Uh, it has bits. Well, there's language mm. that matches your cipher. So your cipher is an alphabet, and you don't have the full cipher. So you can only make out a couple words, and you don't know the language that well. So you know you're like looking back and forth between your cipher and the mm-hmm. book. Uh, well, in time. terms of, it would you have to spend more time to either decode the. Uh, Decode what you can, or try to add to your cipher. Um, that'll take time, if you want. Okay. Uh, otherwise, in the terms of the language that uh, is readable for you, mm-hmm. you recognize that this one kind of deals with uh, warlocks and patrons and deities of the far great beyond. Oh. Which, of course, did spark your interest. Yes. Okay. Then shall we head upstairs? Uh, yes. Cornishing is reading Tusk Love here. <laughs> okay. What do I What do I get from the book? Tusk Love is a romance novel, a uh, about a um half orc and a tiefling who are Starcrest lovers, and you get it hard on because it's just a porn book. There you go. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait a second. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> but, well, now, the real question is, does he have enough intelligence to even understand? I think uh, not. I think he does. Well, he's 21. <laughs> Never mind. He's got nine intelligence. So, uh... Dang, you're kind of dumb, Hayton. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. Did the Celestial mean not... anything? Did I get to take a peek at that? Uh, Eric has the book. Oh, okay. I'll wait see if he wants that acting on. Uh, Upstairs we go. Upstairs it is. Next floor. You find yourself in what appears to be a bedroom. Hmm. Okay. Are we going to reenact what's in Ethan's book? In no, this no, no! You did not just say that. Yeah, why? <laughs> well, they can't because Corinthine read the book, and uh, the beds were much sturdier than this one. Oh. In the okay. corner here, you find anyway. your, you find oh, a, a um, you know those cauldrons, like the face washing cauldrons or whatever. Yeah, that's you find that in this corner here, uh, empty of Can any I... liquid. Can I observe it to see if it still ha- if it has any? Any what? You broke off. Like like how the fountain was, how it didn't have any marks of a liquid. I'll say, since you already recently uh, investigated the fountain, same effect. Just no water line or whatever. I if put there... my hand inside. Like Put your hand in, yeah, in the cauldron? Cauldron, or whatever. I don't yeah. Know, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> your hand just touches the bottom. Feels like stone. It is a stone cauldron. Stone? Hey, I want to do an intelligence check or something. Uh, it's a history check there, Ezra. Or yes. if you want to in- examine that uh, little thing there. Yes, I want to make a history check. Go ahead and uh, roll me a history check with advantage because it is stone based. Yes, sir. Is there anything else in this room? Um, nothing of note in this room. Okay. The cauldron, Thorin. Oh wait, wait. Sorry, give me one second. Okay. Uh, and add double your proficiency bonus to the check. Oh. What does that mean? So. Yeah. Uh, the proficiency four, is one. plus three, so you add an additional three to that. Okay. So it's, it's a twenty-one for you, Ezra. Oh my god, I crit this cauldron with my <laughs> brain. Thorin, you've seen stone structure and this tower itself is a strange piece of work as you've been walking in here this tower speaks to you of um dwarvish i guess heritage Ooh. but at the same time it's mixed in with other i guess other cultures uh in this uh. one here a mixture of dwarf and elvish i guess structural <laughs> design uh-huh and uh also, on top of that, uh, it is very, very old. Like, 
years before the start of the Dwarven Kingdom, Doran. It is. It dates. You can kind of already assume it dates past that. Okay. Okay. Cool. What are you guys doing? Uh, is this, there are more floors? There are more floors. Yep. Sorry, I should. Right. There's we can adventure through oh. every floor. I'm. Yeah, I mean, that's what we, we gotta do. Okay. So okay. we go up. Going up. I'm, Next I'm ready to go up. Yeah. You find yourself. Oh. What is that? Class. Wow. I'm trying to move oh, everybody. Study so, notes, boys. You find oh yourself God. in what appears to be a laboratory. A lot oh of the God. equipment here is shattered. The notes unintelligible. Oh. Hmm. The most, I, I guess, the, the first notes? thing that does come out to you is this strange potion here. It is still intact and it corked. Uh, it's got spider cobwebs and whatnot covering it. Does it look like it's anything I've ever seen? Uh, Eric, you have not seen this potion. It does not have anything of uh, a, a identif identification at uh, a quick glance here. Okay. Uh, is it something I, we can like easily carry? Yeah, sorry. And I made it big I so that you can see, it? but it's oh. just like a regular potion size. Um, I guess I'll take it. Okay. Wait, actually, can I inspect it? Because uh, I've made potions before. I want to see right. if I know anything. Oh, uh, Eric. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll let him go ahead. Thrisk, roll me a intelligence check here. Oh. Intelligence? Yeah. Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> it's Natural got a minus 20. one. Natural 20 don't mean anything, though, in terms of skill checks here. So a 19. For sure, Thrisk, you've never seen a potion like this before. Not just in terms of, like, you know, color or whatnot, but the, the, um, what is it? The liquid itself is a very thick liquid. Uh, oh. And not only that, you can kind of see that it seems to move on its own as you, like, toss and turn the uh, bottle without, like, breaking it. The liquid itself seems to be moving more in reaction to your uh, tossing and turning. Like it's more reactive to you moving it around. Oh. Hmm. So definitely something new, and it's something you've not Can seen. I take before. these notes that are on the table. Sure. Like, do is are they in a language that we can't identify, or are they like destroyed? Uh, What's you know, chicken. You know, you know how doctors have terrible handwriting. Yeah. That is how it is. But why don't you make me a investigation check? See what you can gather. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Wow. Jeez. Risk. It is all just chicken scratch. Nothing of any reclaimable knowledge can be obtained here anymore. Then can I take these and just pass them to Eric and say if he can get anything out of them? Otherwise, let's just keep going. Uh, in terms of gameplay, they will do nothing more. All right. You I failed your save. You us. did not. You did not make your save, so they are useless. Unless you really want to keep them, you can. I want to keep them. Okay. I will grab this uh, interesting potion. Wait, do you give them to Eric, back. or you keep them yourself, the risk? I'll keep them myself. Okay. Put down. Uh, unintelligible, unintelligible laboratory notes. In your inventory, Thrisk, and then Eric put down unknown potion in yours. All right, unknown. And there is still another floor. And up we go, Let's I go assume. Up. All right, I'm ready. Oh shit! Approach what? this floor Whoa. here. Uh, armor, armor. Oh no! If I gotta cut that off. <laughs> Uh oh. oh no, no, one more floor, no, one more that. floor. That is the last that. floor. I see that. Oh no, you see nothing. Close your eyes. There are boobies up there. Close your eyes. Don't look, don't look, Ethan. Don't look. 
Don't look. Ah, there we go. Okay. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, God. Give me a, give me a whip. Okay. All right. Can... Uh, in this room, you find yourself a uh, shattered sigil crowding the floor. The arcane symbols on it, foreign and alien. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a chest as well, and in terms of notes, those are just uh, cosmetic. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this in the corner? Also uh -oh. cosmetic. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> All so right. It's split armor. You know how much you like your chests. Okay. Yeah. Let's open the chest. Opening the chest here, you find one vial of this strange silver liquid. The color matches those marbles that you saw earlier. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the viscosity matches the potion that Eric handed you. Wait. Okay. It's not like, it's very distinct in terms of like, you. it's not a potion bottle. It seems like mm -hmm. a container for this liquid, if that makes sense. Okay. Like a flask. Kind of. Yeah, like it's not meant to be a potion. I don't know how, if I can get that across. It's not a potion. Don't don't drink it. Okay. So silver liquid potion. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Flask. flask. There we go. There we go. Anything else? Anything else you guys want to do? Is there anything else in the chest? That's oh no, nope. It was just that. And can I see if I recognize the sigil on the floor? Sure. Make me invest the uh, intelligence check here to, to recognize. Ow. Intelligence, don't fail me now. 12. 12. It's all too destroyed. Definitely arcanic, and the ones that you do recognize, or I mean, you can make out, you don't recognize what they are. Okay. Then can I, like, make a drawing of this? Sure. In like a notepad or something. I'll say you. I mean, there's paper around you. You can find some kind of drawing utensil. Yeah. I right, make a drawing of it and keep it on me. All right. I will say that you are role playing a very different character compared to Thrist. Fair enough. You want me? To... The thing is, right? It's not fun playing a dumb character unless you're being like a goofy dumb. I mean. <laughs> Don't make your character mind. dumb, then I can't do it's much It's not of that it. I made a character dumb, it's that I had a bad role. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of stupid. Imagine I mean, if you're smart I can't, like I me. can't help you there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Last room, then? Yes. All right. Okay. Last Over room. Let's go, here. boys. Oh, you find I yourself see. at the very top of the tower, at least to what you can assume. I Inside. I yeah, hold on. I'm moving oh everybody around. God. Wait a second. Wait a goddamn second. That looks familiar. Okay. Inside, you see a statue. On it, um, the statue itself is stone. Uh, yeah. On the head of the statue, this is golden crown. Uh, very unique. Right next to it is this sort of kind of spinning ori or whatever. Uh, got cobwebs everywhere. Inside of it, though, you see a small band, like a gold band, sort of floating in midair, spinning and just circling around. It glimmers off of the light from your torch. And then finally, uh, uh, yeah. behind you, you see a large two-handed hammer, uh, also floating on this uh, little sort of platform. Uh, I know it's flat on the ground like that, but it's floating straight up and down vertically. Very oh, uniquely nice. designed. Inside of it is that, um, or I guess uh, in the middle of the, it's a, um, the hammer is a small, is the, uh, not small, a large silver orb similar to the uh, two marbles that you saw before. It sits floating there and sort of just hovers. Can I see what it's made of? Like, is it I bronze? want that crown. So, wait, okay, what? we're doing one. So, Thrist I want to see what this here. is made of. Eric is over here. 
Am I? Oh, uh, uh. oh yeah. Who said they wanted the crown? <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Okay. And what's everybody else looking at? I'm um, erupting at the hammer. The hammer? Yeah, the hammer looks pretty interesting, not gonna okay. lie. Scorching, oh, corn-ching. And uh, Scott Cos, what are you two doing? What's wrong? Hmm, is there a button anywhere in this room? Uh, not in this room. Okay. May I analyze this hammer? Analyze? Sure. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> analyze the best I can of this hammer. Alright, we'll do the okay. hammer first since everybody's here. Yeah, I would like to check this out. That too? Okay, <laughs> we'll get to that after the crown. Here. Fine. Um. Oh, wait, am I? Oh. The hammer itself is made from a. Uh, the mall itself is made from a stone mixed with marble. Uh, on it, details you can see a um, sort of like a brass, tiny figure kind of grasping the silver orb that I talked about earlier. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Shall we you grab it, boys? Oh, I'll grab it. No, I'm grabbing uh, it. Uh, I think we give it to the guy who knows the most about stone. <laughs> yes, but I can That's carry it, though. Yeah, you so have, like, you have so like three weapons on you already. I, no, yeah, yeah, you actually, yeah, you have like three weapons, bro. What the fuck? It's <laughs> mine. That's my hammer. Okay. Go ahead. It's my hammer. No, <laughs> Dara, you can't lift it. Your strength is like two or some shit. <laughs> Alright, Thorin. You've been having troubles craning your own butt recently. Thorin grabs it. Alright, I take the hammer. You grab the hammer and make me a wisdom saving throw. Uh... Hmm. Uh... Oh no. You probably got some wisdom. Where's Who's grabbing it right now? I am very wise. I have seven. Oh. Hopefully this rolls well. Oh, there we go. Eighteen. Okay. I have seven wisdom, bruh. I should never lose these wisdom throws. You grab the hammer. The moment you do, a voice begins to ring out to you. It emanates from the hammer itself. Is it Thor? <laughs> you don't recognize the voice. Oh. But it does say to you, You seem worthy to wield me. Yes! What is your name? Captain America! I'm just kidding. Thorin. Chainbreaker. What the? Thorin Chainbreaker. Yes. I am the Juggernaut. What? Right from X-Men? Tell me, what would you use me for? I would, would you... use you to free all the slaves of this world. And with my and your power and combined, we will accomplish this goal. All yes. will fall <laughs> beneath us. Yes. <laughs> and you have in your inventory uh, the Juggernaut. The juggernaut. I want the Give juggernaut. Me. No, you're not wise yeah. or worthy. Give me a second here. <laughs> you're too stupid. Roll a wisdom throw right now. Let me see what you get. Aimless. <laughs> uh, if it's better than yours, I'm getting it. No, but that's yeah. just no. me. It's a sentient object. Well, we don't know that, so you can't say. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right, you stupid. <laughs> that's yeah. why it's you don't get object. it. He hasn't. A, we didn't hear it. So, in terms of gameplay or roleplay purpose, yeah. we have no clue what the hell's going on with this hammer. As far as you guys, oh, what um, does soulbound mean? So, uh, similar to attunement, some uh -huh. items can be soulbound to you. Okay. Those items, you can only have one item soulbound to you. They're usually a requirement of very powerful and very strong magical items. Okay. Uh, the item itself can exist in a dimension of its own existence. You can oh. pull it out of thin air at at your own will. 
Holy shit. Summoning it whenever you wish. Uh, there are other caveats, but that is the intent of Soulbound. Is Thorn the Hexblade Warlock now? Whoa, dude. <laughs> I finally got the mobility I've okay. been wanting. <laughs> you can jump okay. a distance equal to your strength level multiplied by three. Actually, I'll show this to everybody. I said that way everybody can see the, uh, the item at least. Wait, you deal 88 <laughs> damage to all creatures with 30 feet? What? Legendary Magic Maul, 2d6 bludgeoning, plus 1d8 modifier strength, heavy two-handed, 18 strength or 18 wisdom, soul bound. All soul bound, you have the falling off attribute. Creatures what? have been dealt damage by the juggernaut, can't use their reaction to make an attack of opportunity against you until the end of their next turn. That's broken. You can use your action to jump in the air and come crashing down with a mighty slam. Jump distance equal to strength level multiplied by three. When you land, you deal 8d8 bludgeoning damage to all creatures within a 30, 30 feet of where you land. You can't use this feature until you long rest again. What is uh, that? You you the idea of What's up, Ezra? Yeah, I'm ready to run it down now, boys. Right. Ezra, you, you literally have the eye He's of so broken. You actually have such a broken item. Any nice. number of creatures, yeah, in Tibet, you're all neither you paralyzed creatures strong enough to wield it. So, any number of creatures with the maximum of best one possible plus item wisdom for you. modifier? Oh, what's my wisdom modifier? Uh, it's seven. Okay. It was seven. No, yeah, just, seven. No, oh, seven. Just, so you shouldn't. You should not have a people. seven wisdom modifier. At, at most, it should be a plus five there, Ezra. For your wisdom modifier. Really wise. Wisdom modifier. It looks like, no, six, it's a four. Because so. oh, then four. Then, so. on wait, mine's a six as well. That's yeah. not right. What? I wait. I think it's I, you, I, wait, have, I, have, I have proficiency that. on wisdom. <laughs> no, we're not talking about the, not the, not the saves or anything like that. But yeah, the modifier. not the saves. The modifier model. is the big number yeah. on the left. Oh, right. seven, bro. What? The hell? what? Yeah, so four no, plus four. one, five. Okay. Okay. Any number okay. of your... Okay, can we continue now? Yeah. I want to grab the ring. Uh, continuing. Well, I just have one question. So, yeah. Like, um, into the ground. The indomitable, so does that mean I have to be in range of them or what? No. It could be used to traverse terrain. Wait, the indomitable? Yeah. Um, oh, my bad. I did not add a range to that. I will add a range. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, yep. I was going to say, bro, I'm going to be sniping one. people with indomitable. Yeah, I think I... Some things got mistranslated when I pulled them up, but I will put that on. Okay, thank you. I, I want the ring. Okay. It is There's a shiny. It is a band, so not a ring. Band. Uh, oh, and I will quickly cool. actually, and we haven't had this talk yet, but um, this game is, I guess, the world it's itself off. has rarity. I use my own rarity, um, that is separate from D and D. Uh, so you have your common rarity, uncommon, you have rare, which is, you're going to be finding it at like this golden color. And then you have exotic, which is this bright orange. And then of course, to top it all at the very top, you have legendary, legendary items. You're only going to find one of in the world. Uh, so oh. it's this br purple that you see here, the juggernaut. That way you mm -hmm. can probably, you guys can probably assume, um, maybe not sell the item. Or do, if you want. I can't tell you what to do. Uh, all right. Okay, all right. I'm getting it. Brief. Oh. Th that's it. I'll, that's my little uh, DM talk there. Uh, okay. We'll go to Eric here first here. The statue is tall. Uh, much taller than a humanoid, standing at least 8 feet, 9 feet tall. Oh. On top of the head, you see the crown made out of gold. It glimmers and shines with the torches in the room, and your eyes are drawn to it immediately. Oh. Okay, I, I assume I can't reach it? Uh, if you want to, you can, you know, climb it up and grab it with ease. Right. We don't need to make a roll for this one. Um, does this, does this golem, does this thing look like the other golems? Or I, I guess the golems that we met before. Um, no, it doesn't. Okay, it does not. Go it's a statue. It, All right. Um, I'll 
go for the crown. Easy enough to grab. Oh. As soon as your hands touch it, a voice sort of lingers in your ear. You're not certain what it is, and you can't understand it either. Oh. But if you put it in your pack, like the moment you stop touching it, the voice disappears. It's most definitely magical, though. Oh. Would I have to investigate it? Or you would, is that yes. Fine? Okay. <laughs> um, I would like to. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Anyway. Okay. It's in your inventory. Just put this uh, unknown magic, magical crown. Alright. Uh, then as for the band there. I'll grab it. You grab it with your hand. The moment your hand touches it, you can see a globe appear, um, sort of within the band itself, uh, like a hologram projection <coughs> that seems to rotate around. You can see very unfamiliar lands, but you recognize the continent of Amelifon as one of the distinct islands on there. map of the world maybe even more does it stop spinning or? Uh, it's not oh. uh, the hologram you said was... so, so the band oh, is like in your band. hand and the hologram is sort of inside of the band and I try and like see if I can zoom in kind of like look further Make me a intelligence <coughs> check as you attempt to interact with this item. Oh, here we go. Again. The risk with the intelligence. Let's get it. Oh! Rip. Ah. This is very foreign to you. It hurts your head just thinking about what this is. It Better oh, off maybe just giving it down. to somebody else. You're, you're not yeah, really. Me. This is definitely not for you, though. Let me take a look at it, sir. Yeah. Um, can I check out the crown? Or ask Eric what's up with the crown. <laughs> I don't know. Do I need to do wisdom or intelligence for that? They both do. It'll be intelligence, but it'll be with disadvantage. Okay, I'm Thirsk gonna pass on that had, one. It'll. Thirsk has already <laughs> had a chance at it. I just looked at my intelligence score, so... Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, There's no smart person in this group right now. I, yeah. Whoa, whoa, I whoa. Eric thinks the costs are the only smart I'm ones. I'm sorry, I have a 14. Can I uh, check out the crown? I want to see if I recognize yeah. the language let me, that was being spoken. Let me check you out, alright? Yeah, let's... Give it to Eric, bro. You're taking out yeah. everything with your stupid ass. It's not yeah, working. Yeah. You guys don't know what the band does. Nobody yeah, knows what the band after. does. Hello? <laughs> I like how the what? second rolls are natural 20s, though. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. The very yeah, opposite we didn't, give it to, we didn't give it to Corn, though. Uh, can I give the band to Eric? And uh, I want to ask for the crown in return. Because I want to see if I can recognize. Dude, I just let him look at both of them. Give me, look, I want, I'm keeping my crown. Yeah, okay. just look I at I want to see if I recognize the language. You no, we don't want that. you to recognize the language. Why not? Because you, you already looked at it. Just let, it, just let him look at it, bro. He, no, you you had your turn. You had your turn, boy. That's not just what let I'm Eli do it. Thorn, you don't... Oh, my God. I'm... You do this with school, No one cares, way. though. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll, you had your turn. I'll Eric wants to look at him. Let it look at him. Let can it time out here. Another 30 minutes on this. That's not what I'm talking about. The crown spoke. The crown that he picked up spoke a language. I want to see if any of us can recognize the language. How do you know it spoke a language? Band. Oh my. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Eric, just look at it, bro. I'm, that's a good idea. I'll just slap okay, this guy with some enough. meta gaming damage. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's fair. I didn't think about that. I'll pass the band to Eli. What the fuck did you send me, Eli? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Alright, Eric. Guys like... You have the band. Eli. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, he's laughing. Alright. Um, I'm gonna have to spend some time investigating. Right. <laughs> Make me intelligence yeah, check with disadvantage here. Oh, oh okay. If you're, as you're looking at the band. 
else. You're doing Why something else. Uh oh, okay. It does have dark one blood, right? Intelligence check. So I just click on my intelligence modifier? S uh, yes, on the left. The left. You on, see? On the very the, left. Yeah, the far left. Not the saves, on the left. All Those right. would be the um, checks. Alright, intelligence, alright. I'm gonna click this, but. Okay. Ouch. You definitely All don't right. know how okay. to use Whoa. this. Oh. Uh, my turn. oh, okay, my bad. I'll let you All roll right. it. Alright. If you want to, you can roll it. Alright. I don't know if it's worth it to roll. You just got a 6, bro. Hey, if I get a 16, you know, who knows? <laughs> nope. Copium, copium. You can hear like Briggs right. laughter kind of just ringing it out in your ear. It's my turn. It's my turn. Pass it along. It's oh my god. Alright, this DC is getting harder and harder here, so make me a disadvantage intelligence check. Um, let's just leave it for now. Let's go, boys. Yeah. Scott no, Yeah. You've got to figure it out. It's difficult. Yeah. And you can kind of get it. So, and clicking, oh, I guess not clicking, but tapping on the hologram sort of zooms in and expands it. The moment you do a sort of like Star Wars esque galaxy map shoots out into the room here. And you can see the entire continent of Amelophon displayed out to you. On it, you see dots that litter the. Uh, continent. Uh, I don't know where your character has been, but some of you here have recognized those dots as capitals of the countries on this continent. Oh. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Isn't there something else in here? That is it. Three items in this room. Okay. And the... Girl outside mentioned something about the Atlas of, of the Architect. Atlas architect. of the Architect. And we have no idea what that yeah, don't know. is. Alright. Nobody asked. I mean that's pretty much what it is, isn't it? That thing that just you you just got. It uh, might be the band. Yeah. No, the thing that showed like the capitals and everything. Yeah, that's that's what it yeah. is. It's a band. All right, so okay. shall we head down? Let's go. I'll take uh, Mr. Billsby Crane's body along. Okay, guys. You know, oh, I've that. been thinking about it. I, I've i decided I'm going to give a magical thing to... What's his name? What's your name? I forgot. Velly? A rat creature that got turned into a rock. Oh, Skakas. Oh. Skakas. Robert? Uh, can I give you something? I'm gonna give you an uh, item, okay? So you don't get turned into a rock again. Wait, he doesn't have a magical item, right? Skakas? Yeah. He does. Has he has the cloak. robes of impact. Wait, so why did he get turned then? <laughs> oh, that's right. He had the... <laughs> I guess the robes were not. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, That's what I, forgot. Saying, <laughs> I forgot he had robes of impact on. So we Yikes. Okay. No. Okay, that's Regardless, fine. the potions okay. themselves were would have turned to stone as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Damn, we could have taken the cloak. <laughs> Alright. Um how long have we uh spent in here since we met the girl? Uh <laughs> You guys took a short rest, so that's one hour. I'll say at least another hour, maybe an hour and a half. So two and a half hours so far. Okay. Okay. So are we just going to go mess them up? Are we going to hand over whoever they want? What's the plan? Uh, let's try and find out who they are first before we attack them. Because <laughs> they kind of did fuck up my Zed thing, and I'm kind of pissed. So... We'll find out who they are and if we should give them the band. As you guys are discussing this, you make your way through the lobby of the tower. The crevice in the fountain makes way. 
sinking into the floor and revealing a hidden staircase underneath the fountain. On the staircase we go, boys. A voice rings out from the descent, and everybody can hear this. Unintelligible, but Eric, you yourself recognize it as the same language that spoke to you when you touched the mask. Or the, the, not the mask, the crown. Oh. You don't know the language, but you just know they're similar dialects or... Does anyone recognize the language? Uh, no one does not. Alright, shall we? It's the snake language from Harry Potter. Oh, parts are time? We have one man that knows Celestial and one man that knows Abyssal. Right here. It is neither Abyssal nor Celestial, unfortunately. Is it Orc? Is it Orc? It is not orc. <laughs> Definitely not orc. Hey, let's. Yeah. It's this we, the robotic sounding the language. Is okay, it before common? we uh, head on, I would like to still pass something to um, Skakas. I would like to give him the staff of Yilvavi. <laughs> okay. If that's okay, uh, Skakas. Yeah, Skakas, do you take it? I'll take it. Staff of Yovavi now belongs to you. Does he have to attune to it? Uh, it, it is not an attunement item. Oh. Yeah, it just Quite powerful. It. But yeah, it does not yeah. have attunement. Uh, there we go. In your inventory now. Okay, uh, let's go. Uh, okay. Down into the... Mm-hmm. Off to see the wizard. The wonderful Off wizard. to see uh, the wizard. You guys descend once more into the tower you find yourself oh. at the bottom after a uh, very long staircase oh there's something big in here you can see a large glass dome that has been cracked inside of it is this very massive metal I guess you could say a ball um, with small lights sort of lighting up the sides of the, uh, I guess the sphere. Blast marks surround the containment of this. What would you guys like to do? Hmm. I guess I shall approach it. Yes, possibly. Oh, there are some notes down here. And some mechanisms up the top. What's everybody else doing? As well, what seems to be a liquid or something. I guess I'll move up top. I want to check out what this is up here. Oh, oh what the fuck? Okay. What's everybody um, else doing here? I Interesting. Would like to check this out. I want to see darkness. Oh, it's up here. Can I check? This is a liquid, right? Uh, one second. I'm waiting for everybody else. Okay. Um, just, I'm just yeah, gonna move up again. a little bit, I suppose. Huh? Oh, it's really laggy, laggy, eh? Oh, I can move yeah, you up. It is well. really yeah, yeah, laggy. Yeah, I can take like, a look. Yeah, it's so well, laggy. Guys, I like kill us. It's time to die. Should see what's up here. Uh, Solon, what are you doing, Solon? Um, I mean, I think I'll just follow along the line, you know. Okay. You follow in line. Uh, Eric, are you looking around? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to look at... Holy, the that is a big... Make me an investigation statue. check, Eric, for the room. I guess. Okay. That is a huge monstrosity. Jeez. And as you are looking around, you can very easily just see the attention that is drawing everybody. A massive... I wouldn't say a statue, but it seems to be this large creature made out of metal. Mm-hmm. Similar to the one that you fought underneath the library. Only this one seems to be less clad 
in like thick armor seems to be more opposable when it comes to its joints uh, I know the picture doesn't just uh, doesn't show it but it's um, there are multiple chains that seem to be hooked onto its shoulder and arms that hang out from the ceiling uh, and it's hanging in this pool here maybe just right above its shins this pool of liquid similar to the one that you found in the uh, vile thrisk its viscous viscosity is thick and it seems to reflect the light of your torches it's silver in nature is this the silver surfer in front of it is a panel built with uh unknown symbols and uh buttons on it as for eric a lot of this is once again more research jargon but one thing that you do find which is very surprising a sort of collection in detail of all the species and races that exist on the continent that you are on, a Melophon. It's strange because you can read it because it's written in multiple languages, but the biggest thing to you is you found the completed portion of your cipher. Oh, cool. Let's go. And uh, with that, it is nine o'clock. We'll take a break here and we will come back. Okay. Oh, it's still a long one today? Oh, okay. It is, but yeah. I, uh, it won't go any longer once we come back. Oh, not okay. much. Yeah, not that? much longer, so... It, like 10.30? No. Like, or like 9.30? Like 9... I'm thinking 9.30. But okay. I want to order some food for dinner, oh. and then uh, we'll quickly come back into it with all this stuff as well. So, okay. come back, I say, give me about like five minutes, and then we can all come back together. Okay. okay. Be right back, then. Okay.
Okay, coming back into it here. Everybody here? Yes, sir. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of anything, any gaps I need to fill. The book you found in the library, Eli? Yeah. Uh, those language, that one language you could not understand, um, those consisted of the words from this cipher. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it'll take a little bit more to study it because it's obviously a new language. You're right. But you could definitely use the uh, cipher to translate whatever. Um, okay. What is everybody doing here as we come back into this room? I want to investigate the liquid. Liquid. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you want to right. investigate if I, it's a liquid? We I want to try sticking something organic, like a piece of cloth, into a liquid. Liquid. And see what happens. Tell me what. How about I about. drink? Do you it? want it? <laughs> well, first off, uh, uh, a cloth isn't organic. <laughs> yeah. So. Not like, okay. There's a difference between like rock, and like wool. If you get what yeah, I yeah, okay. Mean. Oh, but I, I wouldn't call it organic. So yeah, or organic um, means it's fun. All right. I mean, it doesn't matter. You drop your cloth into the liquid, and it sort of settles on top before it sort of begins to sink into the liquid uh the moment it submerges it disappears it's not a translucent ah, 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 translucent liquid all right but it's Once definitely it. very viscous very very thick the word i want to touch it it's shiny um, I'm enthralled by my new book, so I'm busy. My new book. Oh. Okay. Then, what this? I'm gonna stick the tip oh. of my tail. Can I move my tail around? Like, sure. He's got I, I've never, like, did, no one ever said how it works. So. Brisk is fucking I, dead. I, I, what are you trying to do with it? It's just I, I want to stick the it. tip of my tail into, like, half a second. <laughs> Sure. Make me a liquid. constitution saving throw. Oh. Ah, I see. Where is he? I'm Sorry, just going to push him in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's right over there. Get him. Uh -oh. 14. Pretty good roll. The moment your liquid begins to approach, it itself <laughs> jumps up and grabs your tail. <laughs> and begins to slowly crawl up your tail. Ooh. Uh, like yeah. filling in the crevice, like the the skin it or whatever. It goes into your butt. <laughs> I, I move away, man. I you, move away. You quickly uh, yank your tail away. Doing the it ant stings ant. a little, not enough to lose hit points, but it definitely stings. Movie butt. Man, that shit's alive. That shit's alive. You got water in your butt now. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh, you said this thing had ciphers on it or something? Right. Uh, it's a uh, panel. There's, um, as far as you can tell, there are like, I was going to maybe... ask Thorne to try and understand it because it's sure. probably dwarvish. Thorne, do your thing. Mm hmm. What you want me to do, boy? Can you see if this is dwarvish? You're going to idly start walking a up. Gnome! The, the generator looking thing? Yeah, there's writings on it. There's a panel I think on it's there. Right. Thorin. I look it, at it is not dwarvish. It's no, made of it's symbols. Awesome. It's symbols that appear to be like made of circles and lines. You've never seen it before. Wait, don't we have, right. don't As we have I, I walk by, do I perhaps notice these symbols? You notice the symbols <laughs> and they match your cipher. Alright, can I try to decipher them? Uh, on it is like your normal mumble gumble, but there are two distinct ones that definitely stand out to you. One of them is activate, the other one purge. Oh. Ah, uh, I see. <clears throat> so, what we doing? Alright, uh, this motherfucker looks strong. Like... 
be kind of interesting to fight him. You can go press activate uh, right now. Uh, we're, we're pretty oh, strong right now, right? I, I have all my soul slots. What about you guys? I'm injured, but that's about it. Go and press activate right now. Alright. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... Hold my finger above activate and look at the rest of my party. <laughs> I love it. I Dude, what happens when we press both buttons at the same time, bruh? Yeah, it's... Go the other way. Alright, too much talking. I press activate. Uh-oh. A voice oh, garbles sort of like an intercom above the air. Very similar to the language coming from your mask. Unintelligible. Garbled. The lights of the machine in front of you begin to glow, and you see these red eyes activate. The chains from above descend. The arms move, and it produces a massive staff spouting flames from it. And we are going to end our Earth. session here, oh, as the okay. purge button no longer is active. Something? Uh, Man, I would say, I let's save it for next session here, before we oh, go into okay. it, and, uh, we'll go right into, uh, initiative. Okay. Now the real question it. is, is it humanoid? <laughs> uh, very humanoid, but very large. So, we will end it it's there. It's a giant.